Hey guys, so Ryan Shand here again, um, and I'm back with another video. I've just shot um, a video, um, the surprise package from Woodland 37. Um, so as you can tell, my, all my videos are kind of mixed up. Um, I shot a lot of videos, um, like in the space of like a couple of weeks that I've been off work. Um, so I didn't want to upload them all in one go because you guys would get probably get bored of that. So I kind of just wanted to save some videos that I had for putting them up at, at specific times and uh, getting all that done. So yeah, so you'll be seeing videos um, like my Game Gear collection. I think that's probably up or if it's not up, it'll be up shortly. Um, episodes like 53, 54. Um, I think they're to come. They'll still be coming. But they've they've been shot weeks ago. So you'll notice because my hair is shorter here and I've had a shave. But in those videos I haven't. So my hair is longer and beard. So yeah, so you'll be wondering why one video I've got like I look like a what do you call it? Like a caveman. Next video I'm looking like this. Not much better, but you know. And then, you know, the video is straight after that, I'm back to looking like a caveman again. My hair doesn't grow that quick. But yeah, so that's the reason as to what's been happening with the videos. Um, also as well, um, I'm still off work. Um, I'm still off. Uh, I'm supposed to be going back next week. Um, hopefully. Because that, that's been about eight weeks now. Um, and during the first couple of weeks of that, I was uploading videos like every day. Um, it was more like therapy for me because I was bored. Um, and they've started to garner views now, but to begin with, they weren't getting many views at all. And, you know, it was a bit frustrating, I suppose, in a way. But, it is what it is. But anyway, this is vlog 005. And um, it's kind of, well, I wouldn't really say game related. I suppose if I mentioned the video, I mentioned the channel, it is. Um, but yeah, aside from that. Um, yeah, so what's been happening with me of late? Um, well, I did mention in a couple of my videos that I was feeling a bit down and depressed and, uh, you know, had a bad week and um, all that kind of stuff that had been happening to me. And basically what was happened, what happened there was I was actually mugged. Um, I was actually um, dragged into a flat and um, held at knife point. Um, had to give money, phone car keys, all that kinds of stuff, uh, just to try and get out of there really. Basically what happened, it's stupid, but I got out of my car to have a cigarette, this was in Aberdeen one night, and uh, the car had just been valid. Uh, my girlfriend was coming home from Poland uh, in a couple of days time, so I happened on the 5th of March, she was coming home on the 7th, um, and I didn't want to smoke in the car and like get ash all over it and ruin it basically. So I go out of the car to have a fag, and um, yeah, what to keep the car in nice condition for her, so did that, and the next thing I know, I'm being dragged in, into a flat, um, and held there, and yeah, it wasn't a very safe area at Aberdeen, fair enough, um, but it's kind of one of those things you think's not going to happen to you, you kind of think it's going to happen to somebody else, so I didn't really think much of, of it at the time. Until it happened, obviously. But um, thankfully they let me go. Um, I did get a good right hook. Oof. In the jaw. Um, which took me a bit by surprise, but uh, it didn't hurt me in the slightest, actually. Um, but yeah, but I was extremely pissed off. But obviously I didn't want to be a hero in case, you know, got sniped or whatever, you know. So that's, that's why I was having a bad week. Um, went straight to the police after that, reported it all, so it's all being processed and, you know, stuff that was in my car, like my wallet and stuff, because uh, basically they took the money out of the wallet, but they left the wallet in the car, um, that's been taken away for fingerprints, that's been a couple of weeks, I still haven't got it back, it's got my driver's license and everything in there, which is a bit annoying, but, um, so yeah, that's been kind of depressing me and, um, sort of, uh, I mean, a couple of you guys know already, because I've told a couple of you guys what happened. But, 
yeah, so that's been depressing me a little bit. Uh, well, a lot actually, coming out. But yeah, but never mind. We'll see what happens with that. Um, lost my phone, um, but um, it was an iPhone 4S. But my mum very kindly went out and bought me an iPhone 5. So, you know, that was awesome over. Uh, I lost a lot of like my contacts and stuff because I stupidly didn't have iCloud turned on. Um, I don't know, stupid, me, yeah, stupid, um, but there you are, you live and learn, I've got about 95% of the stuff back onto my iPhone 5, it was on my iPhone 4S anyway, so it's not too bad, but uh, it could have been a lot worse, but anyway, never mind, moving on, um, yeah, so that's pretty much why I want to do this video. Um, I don't really have much in the way of gaming to speak about um, because I haven't done much gaming lately. Um, I think I hinted to that in one of my other videos. I haven't done played a lot of games because uh, I just haven't been arsed with it, really. I've got so much games um, that I haven't played and I've got such a massive backlog of games. It's like, well, I really should get around to playing them, but I know that I won't. Because it gets to a point where it's like, well, I've got about 100 PS2 games I haven't played yet. I've got like uh, 20, 30 PS1 games I haven't played yet. I've got like 10 NES games, I'll probably play them, that I haven't played yet. Um, and all that kind of stuff, so it kind of builds up on you. Um, and before you know it, you're just sort of stuck in the habit of collecting. Um, and yeah, instead of being more of a gamer, you're more of a collector. And um, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Anyway, I'm probably more 85% collecting, 15% gamer. But lately, it's probably more 95% collecting, 5% gamer. Um, I've been playing a lot of Tomb Raider on the PS3. Um, I think, I've, well, I say a lot. I put about 10 hours into it since I got it. Um, which you'll have seen in the, the, the weekend's episode. Um, that I picked up. I actually shot that episode the day I got mugged. Um, it was a couple hours after that I actually got mugged, so uh, yeah, uh, it's a bit strange watching that video for me. But yeah, so I don't know, um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm good at, I will play them all, you know. I mean, I'll get to a point where I will play the games, but it's just, it's more, I've got other things to do at the minute, other things on my mind, trying to deal with this whole police investigation thing, trying to uh, get ready to go back to work, um, and um, just getting by basically. Um, but yeah, so that's the video. Um, pretty crap, I know, isn't it? That's really bad. I'm sorry. I, I promise you, Vlog 6 will be a hell of a lot better. Um, just didn't really have much in the way of gaming to speak about, um, you know. But I will be um, going through all my games that I've got. I've decided, right, systems that I want to go for a full set on are the NES, the Sega Saturn, and that's about it. Because the Mega Drive, I was I was getting there. But I've got so much games and I've got nowhere to put them. Um, literally, I'm living in a tiny wee box in my room because the rest of it is just completely covered in games. And it's it's like, well, I don't want to live like that anymore. So a lot of games are going to be getting sold. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, well, I'll be doing a video on it. You know, I'll be doing a, a trades... Well, not really a trades video, a for sale video. Um, for all the games that I've got that I want to get rid of. Um... And yeah, so that'll be coming up soon. I don't know when, but um, if you see anything in my videos that you know you might like, you might like, you know, let me know, and I'll I'll see what I can do. Cause um, chances are that'll probably be getting sold. So, um, it just depends really. I'm more on my platform games, um, Disney games, horror games, fighting games. Um, those are the kind of games I'm gonna want to keep. Um. You know, but my girlfriend, she's going for a full GameCube Wii and Wii U set. So uh, she's got a hell of a job in her hands getting all that. But um, she's got a bit more space to put them than I do. So, uh, yeah, but... No, it's it's cool. 
you know, I still want to collect games. I mean, I'm never going to stop collecting games. The same with the Game Boy as well. That was another set that I was wanting to go for a full set on. Um, I, I do. I love collecting for the Game Boy. Um, and I will be picking up games for the Game Boy as and when I find them. Um, because I absolutely love picking them up. They take up next to no space whatsoever. I mean, they're tiny things. Um, and, yeah, I can collect them till the cows come home. You know, there's no problem with that whatsoever. I've got space for all of them. Um, NES has taken up quite a lot of room. Um, but I've got them all in drawers, you know, so it's, it's a little easier and a little more, bit more manageable. Um, and the Saturn as well, that's on a shelf, so uh, that ain't too bad. But... Yeah, those are the systems that I've got most nostalgia for. Um, a lot of nostalgia for the Mega Drive, but I just I just can't justify going for a full set on that because it's just so expensive. It's ridiculously large amount of games for that system, um, and the amount of games that I've got left to play on that system I haven't played yet. So there's no point in me collecting for it until really I play those games. Um, but, I'll pro but I'll be getting rid of like all my sports titles um, and a couple of other decent titles as well. I'll be getting rid of some because then um, there's just no need for me to have them. You know, I just really want to have the games on the Mega Drive that I had when I was a kid. Um, and um, really, before I started collecting, I still had them all. So, because I never got rid of my Mega Drive games, I, I kept them all. Um, so yeah, but other there's other Mega Drive games I wanted when I was a kid that I didn't get. So I'm collecting them, but um, the Mega Drive collection, yeah, that's going to cease to uh, to exist because, uh, well, not cease to exist, what the hell am I talking about, man? What am I going on about? <coughs> no, I will be um, collecting Mega Drive games. I will be picking them up still, but I'm going to be a bit more selective as to what games I pick up rather than just picking up whatever I find. Because um, up here it really is, it's extremely difficult to find retro games. I can't even begin to explain how hard it is to find anything retro. Cartridge based games don't really exist up here. The only games that you can really get are Game Boy um, and that is Once in a Blue Moon. Game Boy Advance, Once in a Blue Moon and that is it. Um, I suppose DS, I suppose you could really class that as a cartridge really, more like a card. Um, but apart from that, that's it. You know, There's no NES, SNES, Mega Drive, Nothing like that up here. Yeah, very occasionally find them, um, but it is like once in a a blue, blue, blue moon, um, if you like. So it's extremely hard for me to collect retro games because that's what I'm into. If I was like a PS1 or PS2 or PS3 collector, I'd have absolutely no problem whatsoever. I could collect them all, um, but I'm not really. Um, PS2 is a system that uh, I got a lot of games for heck of a lot of games for, uh, same with the PS1, um, and I'm still going to be picking up them games as well, because there's still some games I want to get for each, each system. PS1, not so much, um, I think there's maybe like one or two games out there that I would like to have before I decide to um, just swap over all the Platinums that I've got in it, and then just go into Black Label collecting. PS2, yeah, there's a lot of like the horror, horror games, RPGs and stuff that I'd like to pick up. Um, and the platform games that I'd like to pick up for that as well. Um, so there's still a lot of games left to get for that. But aside from that, yeah, that's where my collection is going. So anyway guys, that's been a random rant. Um, I had absolutely nothing planned for this video, so I hope you've... Um, well, if you've stayed with me all this way through, hats off to you. You deserve a cup of tea. Um, so yeah, well done. But um, thanks very much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I promise vlog 006 will be a much more interesting vlog. Um, I just had to get out what I was feeling and, and all that kinds of stuff. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Like I say, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, take it easy. And I shall see you in the next video. Ciao for now.